Hi, this is Lori Rulin, and I wanted to show the inline merge script. I want to start with an Excel file, and this can be uh, Google Sheets or anything, but it has to be saved as a TXT file. And you'll notice that I have the product name, description, color, and then an at photo column here where I have the name of the JPEG of the, the, the clothing item. And then in my folder, I have the actual JPEGs of the clothing items. So because this is in the exact same folder as the, all the files are in, I can get a buy with just the name of the, of the graphic. Uh, if I had to put it on a different folder, I'd have to have the entire path here um, under photo. Okay, so I start here with a InDesign document and I am using data merge. So let me first of all go to window menu utilities and open up data merge. And before I get to data merge, I want to run this, what's called an inline merge script. That's what I'm showing here. Now I could just make a text for uh, a picture frame here. And then I could also make a text frame and I could uh, do a very quick data merge with this. So in order to do this, I would just drag my photo over here and here's my text frames. I'll go to product name and I'll hit return and I'll just like, I'll just put in the color here. Um, so nothing fancy. But if I wanted to run my data merge, I'm gonna hit this preview here and you'll see that the hood is sweatshirt, it's green and there's the photo that comes in. Now, in order to run this with um, multiple graphics all on the same page, I'd have to go to mer um, multiple record layout and I can preview this and that will turn it on and you can see that it will then put in a bunch of these. Now, the problem with what I have created here is if I go ahead and delete one of these, I have to manually move all of these graphics into place and they don't automatically reset. So that's why the inline merge script is so amazing. So I'm gonna get rid of this and here's how you set up the inline merge script. So I have a photo, I have the product name and I am going to group them because in order to group them, in order to anchor them, they have to be grouped. And the key here is to grab this little uh, dot here and drag it into a frame that I deleted. So I'm gonna make another frame. That's the, another big thing, you have to have a frame. I'll select this group, I'll hold the shift key and drag this little icon in and anchor that graphic. Now, I'm just gonna make it a little bit thinner. So it is now anchored and uh, it is anchored as a, as a kind of like a piece of text. So if I would hit spaces in front of it, see I'm hitting spaces. Uh, it'll move that little graphic over. Okay, so now to run the inline merge script, I've already got it installed, so I have to select the entire frame here that the text or the photo is anchored into, and I'll choose my script. I'll go to inline merge, and the default separator is a return. Well, I don't want to return after every single one of these, and that would make it come down uh, to the next line. Uh, actually, let me run this. I'll show you. I want to see I've got those in they go to the next line here and I have a uh, overset text so I would thread this to the next frame but I want these to be next to uh, the rest of them so I'm going to undo that and select it again and this time I'm going to double click here on inline merge and instead of doing a return I'm going to hit a space bar hit run and now I'm going to get a space in between each one of these items. You can see this tiny little dot right there in between. Now, the benefit of this is the fact that I can select all of these, they're in line, and I can go to my tracking. So you see I'm holding the shift key down, I'm adding in a whole bunch of tracking, and I'm also going to add in a whole bunch of letting. And so if I change the letting here, you can see that I can squish in and get three rows uh, or four rows of three columns. Now, here's the best part about this. If I wanted to delete my leather jacket, I can select this leather jacket, watch how this plaid shirt is gonna come into the spot of the leather jacket and this little red tower will come into the spot of the red or the plaid shirt. So I'm gonna hit delete. See how everything snaked through or threaded through. Um, I could also select one of these, copy it. And I'm just gonna put it up here and hit paste and you see how the striped sweatshirt now pushes everything over a little bit. Now, there's a little bit of an issue here with my, um, with my tracking, it looks like, and a couple extra spaces, but 
hopefully this helps you understand what this inline merge script does. It is an amazing, amazing script.